Hey, welcome back. I thought I'd make a short video kind of as an epilogue to the Burn Barrel series I did a few years ago. It's still one of my most popular videos, so I thought some kind of closure might be nice. So after being in use on and off for the last two or three years, the burn barrels cooked. What really happened to it is I left ash in the bottom of it and that allowed it to retain water and it rotted out the bottom of the barrel. I originally built this during COVID because I was being overwhelmed with cardboard boxes from all the things that we were ordering for the household. I don't want to pay for additional recycle cans so I thought it made more sense to just burn all the cardboard up. It's been nice to have but I really just don't need it anymore. So today's the day. I'm going to torch it up and put it in the recycle can and it can get melted down and made into something new. Things I did well. The Vortex design works amazing. It burns really fast and really hot and leaves virtually no ash in the bottom if you don't overstuff it, which was the mistake I made. In terms of the lid that I added, that was a mistake. I should have made a full size lid like the type that my dad made. Having only half of the top open when the lid is folded open to put things in made it difficult to put large items in and I lost a fair amount of hair on my wrist getting cinched doing stuff like that. If I was gonna build another one of these, I would definitely build one with a fully removable top or something that pivots out of the way. The pull handle worked great. So the wheels were way too small and way too narrow and it tended to want to tip over. I used the steel wheels because I thought they would melt from the heat, but actually in use, the wheels never really got hot because there was enough metal and air between the wheels and the body of the burn barrel. When the burn barrel is going, most of the heat's in the middle and the top, not necessarily in the bottom. So if I was going to do that part again, I would put much wider wheels and probably a much larger diameter and maybe even like hard rubber ones, something where I didn't care if they got a little melted maybe. Shot a can of fireplace high temperature black paint on it as you can see that totally didn't work and was basically a waste of money so don't do that the other issue I had with the barrel was that all the steel that I welded to it although it was cheap and worked well it made the barrel very heavy and so it kind of made it hard to move around But all in all, I was really happy with how the burn barrel came out. It served its intended use. And I think I'm all in on this project, even with the cost of gas and everything for under $50. So it was a really good solution during COVID and maybe it's a good solution for you. Thanks for watching.